pretty good spring training for Joe. He's appeared in four games. He had 12 innings, 17 punch outs. He got his pitch count up to 81. Last appeared in a major league game back in 21. Had Tommy John surgery in 2022. This one grounded to the right side. Hoskins feeds Ross. One quick out for the Brewers righty. This is up the middle. Diving attempt missed by Adamas. And Kirilov is on again. Base hit number five to begin his season. Byron Buxton. Line drive, center field. Freelick coming on. He makes the catch. Got a good jump for out number two. Wheels and deals. Hit in the air into left center. Playable Yelich. Inning over. Today's twin starter, Chris Paddock. It's his first start since May 8th of 22. Out of the bullpen, a few appearances last year. Stuff looked really good. Fastball velocity was there. The changeup has always been there for him. And it was at 88. That's 84, the changeup. That has been his bread and butter for a long time. Off the end of the bat, Paddock bobbles it, picks it up, throws to first. It's wide and down the right field line. Contreras content with just one base. Paddock into the stretch against Yelich. He's ahead 2 and 0, oh, and he hits a bullet towards left center and a base hit. That ball was smoked off the bat of Christian Yelich. Man. Well, he's feeling it out there, isn't he? And that's ball four. Hoskins, who has already hit into a pair of double plays on the season. To third. Love by Farmer. Second one, the return. Throw is in time. Third double play hit into by Hoskins this season, and the Brewers. Strand a pair. Carlos Correa leads it off against Joe Ross. And the pitch hit in the air to center. Fairly deep, playable. Freelink waiting, catching. Ball four. So Santana, who's always been a patient hitter, will gladly take his base. The full count, runner goes, and that is high. 0 2 pitch. Off the end of the bat to Adamas. Fields throws, got him. And Ross wiggles through trouble. A couple of walks, nothing across. Paddock ready again, kicks, deals, and a check swing bouncer in front of home plate. Paddock picks it up and just did get him. Freelick thinks he may have beaten it. Milwaukee is challenging the out call at first base. I think they're going to get this one right. Yeah, he's safe. This shouldn't take very long. After the review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is safe. Change up in the dirt. There goes Freelick. What a great read on the ball in the dirt. And a ground ball through the left side. A base hit. Freelick was heading back to second base. Make sure it goes through. Runners are on the corners. 3 2. Lifted in the air to right. Should be deep enough to score. Freelick catching his Kepler. Throw goes to second, and the Brewers will take the lead on a sack fly by Terrain. Showing good patience, waiting back, and got the RBI. 1 0 Brewers. Carlos Correa, set time up against Joe Ross. 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him with a slider. Santana started and held back as he draws a walk. And that'll get Willie Castro to the plate. It's sharply right side and through. Just like that. Fifth walk of the game. It loads the bases and a decision here for Pat Murphy. That's going to be the end of the line for Joe Ross. 73 pitches, three and two thirds innings. And Hobie Milner try and strand. The base is loaded. Base is loaded for Minnesota. Lays down a bunt. Ortiz picks it, throws it. Safe at first is the call. What a pick from Ortiz. We'll see if the Brewers challenge this one. They were already correct earlier in the ball game to retain a second opportunity. That is as close as it gets. Yeah, bang, bang. Is there enough to overturn it? That's that's the key. Call the field is overturned. The runner is out. What a great play by Ortiz. A huge challenge from Pat Murphy. Hobie Milner throws one pitch. Job well done. Brewer is still with a 1-0 lead thanks to Joey Ortiz in his spectacular defense in the top of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth inning. Reese Hoskins sends a shot out to left inside the pole. Waited back nicely on that change up. Change up middle in, second deck. Take one off the board, get one back. Carlos Santana coming up as the Twins load the bases for the second time in as many innings. To the right side. 
Terang to second, and that's all. The Brewers get there, so Kirilov scores, and the Twins make this a one-run game. Buxton the tying run, 90 feet away. And a liner to right. Churio there and makes the catch. Loud contact against Bukowskis, but he holds the lead. Brewers going to try and get that run back and maybe some more in the fifth. Churio, deep right center. Back it goes and gone! First big league homer for Jackson Churio. Using the big part of the field. And where does he hit it to the opposite field, right? I mean, that is impressive for a young kid like that. Number one for Cheerio. Gotta love it. Well, he's a good one. He's going to be good for a long time. I think the guys were trying to do the silent treatment as long as they could, but for number one, oh man, soak that up. Yoel Piomps makes his fourth appearance in five games. Yeah, it has not reached, not a lot of base runner yet. Nine up, nine down for Piomps. Hammers this one to right down the line, deep in the corner. That ball is going to be in play, and that's a fair ball. So Kirilov stay hot. His third hit on base for the fourth time, and the leadoff man is on here in the seventh inning. Buxton hits this ball into the left field corner, and that is a fair ball. That'll skip down up against the wall, rattling around for Yelich. He replaces Kirilov at second. Alex scores, and just like that, it's a 3-2 ball game on a ringing RBI double for Byron Buxton. Buxton the tying run at second. Line to left, Yelich coming on. That's a base hit. Buxton around third, heading home. Yelich will throw, no chance. Buxton is in. Correa ties it up. It's 3-3. Rare miscue out of the bullpen for Yoel Piomps and Bryce Wilson will get the call trying to keep this game tied at three apiece. And with two outs and runners on the corners, Brian Jeffers trying to snap his 0 for 13 will be the hitter. He stays the 2 2 Jeffers to left deep. Yelich drifting. Yelich near the wall. It's gone! Ryan Jeffers all smiles. His first hit of 2024 is a go-ahead, two-out, three-run homer, and the Twins surge in front, six to three. He said yesterday, I found something in my swing. Well, it sure looks like it there. Fastball at the top of the zone. That thing got out of here by about a foot and a half, but it can go down as 500 feet in the scorebook. It doesn't really matter as long as it gets out of here, and that's the big hit the Twins have been waiting for. Now Brock Stewart is on to pitch because the Twins have the lead here getting late. Swing and a miss on three pitches done. 2-2 two -two pitch. Boy, that's taken for a cold strike three. Two wins by three, two down, bottom seven. Softly to left. Correa racing out. Kirilov in, and Correa makes a basket catch. Nearly colliding with his teammate. His back to the infield. Did he make a phenomenal play? What a day for Kirilov. He's three for three with a double over two runs scored. He's also walked. Kirilov smokes one of the gap in right center field. And Kirilov will watch this one find the wall. Kirilov to second base. He's thinking three. The throw to third is not in time. Alex Kirilov has been on five times today. As Correa moves to second. Ryan Jeffers to left center. Fading, fading, and down a base hit. Correa rounding third, heading home. Yelich's throw is offline. The throw to second is not going to be there. Bobbled by Terang. And Jeffers drives in his fourth run. Correa scores. And the Twins add on. Lead 7-3. Steven Oker is on to pitch the ninth inning with a four-run lead. Struck him out. Went even higher that time. 3-2 pitch. On the outside corner. Swag and a miss struck him out, and the Twins split the two-game series in Milwaukee. 7-3 the final.